Okay, this problem says, suppose you have 120 kg wooden crates resting on a wood floor with coefficient of static friction 0.5 between the wood surfaces. What maximum force can you exert horizontally on the crate without moving it? If you continue to exert this force once the crate starts to slip, what will its acceleration be? The coefficient of sliding friction is known to be 0 0.35, 0 0.3 for this equation. All right, so let's do a diagram first. So here's the wooden crate sitting on the floor. There's the maximum static friction force that can be uh, achieved between these two surfaces. So that would be the maximum force you can apply before it starts moving. So when this is equal to that, it's the, the crate has not slipped yet. So F max minus Fs max equal to zero. So the maximum force you can apply is the maximum static friction force. And the static friction force, of course, is uh, equal to mu s times the normal force. So the maximum force you can apply is mu s times the normal force, which is mu s times, and this force is equal to that since the object is not moving in that direction. And so that's equal to mg. Okay, so that's 0.5 times 120 kg times 9.8 meters per second squared. It's 588 newtons. So that's the maximum force you can apply before the box will start moving. Okay. Now, part B says uh, once the box starts moving, you're still applying the same force, the friction force is now kinetic friction force. So the acceleration of the object is F minus FK equal to mass times the acceleration. Let's add a page. Okay, so, and FK, of course, the friction force is mu K times the normal force. So F minus mu K times the normal force, which is equal to mu K times mg. The normal force is equal to the weight. So it's equal to mass times acceleration. All right, so acceleration acceleration is what we want to find. What is the acceleration then? So we're trying to find what will be the acceleration after it starts sliding. So the acceleration is given by F minus mu k mg divided by m. Okay, we'll do F by m minus mu k times g. F is, we have applied a 588 newton force, 120 kg minus 0.3 times 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, so the acceleration is divided by 120, 4.9 minus 2.94 meters per second square. That is 3, 1.96 meters per second square. So that is the acceleration of the block once it starts sliding. Okay, that finishes this problem.